Have you ever wondered how powerful an open conversation can be? Imagine if you will a locked door standing between you and your adversary. This door signifies a closed dialogue, an obstacle blocking the path to understanding. Now picture yourself armed with a key. This key isn't made of metal, but of faith and persistence in communication. It's this key that can unlock the door, opening a pathway to dialogue, and potentially, resolution. Keeping the lines of communication open even with those we see as opponents is crucial. It allows for the exchange of ideas, the possibility of finding common ground, and the chance to understand different perspectives. Like a key to a lock, faith and persistence can open up seemingly impenetrable barriers. So let's remember this, no adversary is invincible when faced with an open dialogue. As the old saying goes, every lock has its key, and every adversary can be engaged with an open dialogue fueled by faith. To better understand this concept, let's revisit the story of David and Goliath. In an era long past in a land far away, there lived a young shepherd named David. Despite his humble beginnings, he possessed an unshakable faith and a spirit brimming with courage. Standing across from him was Goliath, a giant warrior, a seemingly invincible adversary feared by everyone. He was a towering figure, a symbol of might and power, and he challenged the Israelites daily, mocking their faith and their God. But David was different, he did not cower in fear before Goliath, he did not run away. Instead he stepped forward, choosing to engage with the giant. He did not have the physical strength or the battle experience of his adversary but he had something more potent, his faith. David stood before Goliath, not with a sword or a spear but with a simple slingshot and five smooth stones. His weapon was not of iron or bronze, but of faith and courage. He looked at Goliath, not as an unbeatable foe, but as an opportunity to prove the power of his faith. As Goliath charged towards him with a roar, David did not falter. He did not lose his faith. He held onto his slingshot, took aim and with a swift motion sent a stone flying towards the giant. The stone found its mark, and the invincible Goliath fell. David's triumph was not a result of his physical strength but his faith. It was his courage to engage with the adversary, his refusal to back down that led to his victory. He didn't just defeat Goliath, he shattered the illusion of invincibility. He showed the world that faith, courage and the willingness to engage with an adversary could conquer even the mightiest of foes. David's victory against Goliath is a testament to the power of faith and open dialogue. It shows that no adversary, no matter how formidable, is invincible. You might be wondering how does this apply to our modern lives? Well, let's delve into that. Imagine a situation where you're at odds with a co-worker over a project. You feel your approach is right, and they believe theirs is. The friction could escalate, the project could falter, and the working relationship could sour. But what if you kept the dialogue open? What if you sat down, listened to their perspective, and shared yours? You might find a middle ground, a better solution, or at least an understanding of each other's viewpoint. That's the power of open dialogue. Think about the societal divides we see today. So many of them are born out of closed lines of communication. But when we keep the dialogue open, when we listen and respect each other's views, we can bridge these divides. We can build empathy, understanding, and even find common ground. Consider the peace negotiations that have shaped history. The seemingly invincible walls of conflict have crumbled when adversaries chose to sit down and talk. It was their faith in dialogue, their faith in peace that led to resolutions. In every case, it's faith that fuels the process. Faith in dialogue, in understanding, in resolution. It's faith that keeps us going when the challenges seem insurmountable. Remember, no adversary in the world is invincible when faced with faith and open dialogue. So what's the takeaway from all of this? It's simple, yet profound. The power of persistence, the dedication to keep the lines of communication open, and the unwavering faith in the process are keys to overcoming adversity. These principles are not confined to biblical tales or ancient history. They are as relevant in today's world as they were thousands of years ago. So remember, never close the dialogue with your opponent, because with faith, no adversary is invincible.